Hi Leo, welcome to your, um, I'm just going to do an energy check-in for love. So let's go ahead and start. I'm hearing crimson and coal. That could be someone's favorite color. Um, I've been seeing someone's, I'm seeing a Murano glass, like a hand-blown, handmade glass that, um, it fell on the floor and it shattered and someone tried to sweep it together in the very well manicured hand. Someone could have French nails. Um, and then she places it on the table and someone knocks on the door. And then she just wipes her tears and she said, I'm ready. So I don't know what that means for you, Leo. Um, I usually don't say things be right before reading but I had to because that image kept popping in my head and I was actually in bed ready for bed so I'm here doing a reading it's four in the morning so anyway here we are okay so Archangel Michael um, Leo please okay we have anchor with 35 I'm gonna get one more Okay, and light bulb. All right, so let me just get one for your astrology. Carry on. So move. Seventh house represents uh, the Libra house of love, partnership, marriage, and also business partnership. And we have the fire element, 37. Um, we have 37, so this is 10. 10th house, which is career. 7th house, 8th house, and another 8th house. So there's change in your love life and it looks like your 10th house as well. You're going to be getting passion um, or creativity. If there's been just a very sluggish energy when it comes to career, um, it looks like there's going to be a shift in that and as well as if you're married or in a committed relationship or single, it looks like things are going to be um, reignited once more. Um, this is hand fasting. Um, this is like a ritual. I don't know if it's a Celtic ritual, but I know back in the day they used to do that um, to kind of bind each other with love. So it looks like there's rejuvenation. And if you put 10 and 17, that is also the star card in the tarot. So that is healing. So it looks like, again, there's healing and rejuvenation in these um, houses for you. Um, anchors, stability, and enlightening. Also, if there's been secrets that are hidden that was hindering from stabilizing these areas in your life, it looks like it's going to be changing as well. Um, so let me get all right so let me get this one i'm gonna do a mirrors i don't know why i want to do that but i feel like picking that up right now all right so what else is happening for leo please okay we have soulmate i need one more michael So it looks like you're dealing with someone, if you haven't met this person, this person will come in a very random fashion. Um, it looks like if you've been manifesting, um, this will come in within a week. Um, getting also with past life here, this is someone that will feel like home, but since I get past life with karmic sometimes, but it's not like a full on karmic where I'm seeing this as more of, um, cause with anchor here, this is going to teach you something that, um, a skill ability or something that you kind of have to put down to kind of resurface something within you, a gift that you already have within you that you have not awakened yet and this person will kind of reignite 
this person will basically this jolt of electricity to kind of awaken this part of you and and it would be done so in the most random fashion i'm not getting like could be like a, a line someone would say or they would do something let's say canceling a date last minute and that could trigger you some way somehow it could be something like that so um and this thing would be very transformative and once you guys uh, i'm getting like a back and forth and you're going to awaken something within this person as well maybe you guys will awaken love and your career um 17 it's a healing 17 is your opposite sign as well which is aquarius your sister sign you guys could have that in your north node but it's more of um you guys will ping pong each other um awaken it, this is a gift in of itself that you guys have to realize and um once this things are awakened the gifts um you guys could try really going in for the stability which will be a lasting one for you guys but it has to these things have to be awakened first before you guys can um have stability i don't know why but it's imperative apparently that you guys awaken these gifts because the world needs them all right michael clarify these for leo so it looks like this is a new thing coming towards you or if this is a past relationship it's coming in um but let me clarify if you have already met them or not but i'm getting this is new new energy or this is a person coming in with new energy so we have page of cups reversed okay six of swords this is someone that does not want a message at the same time could not move forward as well or this is someone that has a blocked throat chakra and could be watching you from a distance you could be dealing with scorpio heavy scorpio here eight eight four of wands reversed okay this is definitely a past life um Is this new or old for Leo, please, Michael? What is this? Give me more context, please. Okay, so this is someone local to you or someone that took quite a while to get to you. I'm seeing this is someone that you probably met casually dating online or this is someone that likes to travel a lot and dates but does not commit because we have four of ones reversed death reversed this is someone that does not like to not cut cords but this is someone that does not like saying goodbyes um so this is someone that definitely you left behind that you had no closure with but there's that lingering effect about this person how they are um i think it's you that um left them behind and doing so made them actually kind of go in hermit mode but this is someone that had no closure because this person had no um they just can't deal with closures or having that confrontation something about confrontation this it gives this person anxiety for some reason and this person could be watching you online what else please michael or you've met this person online and i'm getting a very free spirit here um it doesn't matter how old they are they could be very um i don't know why i'm hearing rebel in reverse so this could have been a rebel before and then they started backtracking and really started shifting 
from rebel to being a committed person in dating but i don't think this went above and beyond than dating because there's something the blockage here is the commitment the staying power this person has no staying power oh my god king of wands reversed yeah so i don't think thought I have everything reversed but no this is someone that again no ending um, this is someone that could be very acerbic when they encounter um, with words and this is someone that took forever to get to you um, I'm seeing this as local travel instead of going to take the freeway to get to you faster this person will take the back road um, really going towards the scenic route to get to you taking their sweet time but could not end it could not pull the trigger if they want to commit or really leave um, I'm get op I'm getting open-ended okay so this is a past you once thought was a wish fulfillment Let me get what happened here. Why are they showing up? Why are they showing up in Leo's reading, Michael? What do they want? Okay, small challenges. So-called love. So this connection was so intense. <sighs> okay. And they did not want to lose their identity because they were falling in love with you. And they didn't want to admit to it, or they could, but then their actions would counter that idea. So there, this there's a breakthrough, but they're manifesting you. This person could be very um, spiritual as well, um, practicing law of attraction. Again, soulmate energy. So it looks like they've learned their lesson. In the past, this person was very blocked or they blocked you or just energetic block. There's a lot of pushover when you guys try to resolve issues and you try to breach the situation. This person will argue their way out of everything. Um, so now, they were terrified to lose their identity, but when they lost you, they lost more than they could bargain for um, so they want you back okay what do they want to say what do they want to say you let me down I need security. I do love you. So, are they coming in or are they just going to keep watching you online? If they don't watch you, since this person practices love attraction, they could do tarot cards or they have their ways. I'm getting very spiritual. This, per this person is awakening or is awakened already. So yes, they have that power or they could just... I'm getting someone with visions. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. This is a very spiritual connection, by the way. This person is really perfecting their craft spiritually. Um, this is an energy worker. I don't know if you know this. Um, 
And this is a shadow, if you see a shadow here that they um, probably work on at night. And but I'm getting they use this to manifest um, mostly monetary gains. It's not for love, but I think this is the first time they're, they're using their gift um, to um, manifest you. I'm seeing beehive. Six of Pentacles, King of Swords. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Again, Five of Pentacles. It fucks with them a little bit. This you let me down. You left them like that. Or you did not try and try again like they expected you to. So if you guys have tried over and over again to make this work and you kind of just gave up on them, they kind of still linger on this idea on, on this pain but even so even with this pain that they're harboring it's more of i can't live without you um there's been an imbalance here and they want to rectify um this issue so there was commitment issues in this person now they want stability so how are they gonna come in? I just see thoughts, ideas, no plan of action. Okay. I'm here in peace be with you. Does this person go to church? Or they want to come in peace. They don't want to fight anymore. But Ace of Cups represents um, abundant energy, abundance of love, abundance of basically if you're manifesting like law of attraction, you want to be in this energy of Ace of Cups because once you manifest from your heart, um, those things really last forever. Um, if you manifest from like solar plexus, that's really good if you want to go for the Ace of Pentacles. But when you manifest like overall happiness, you have to manifest from the heart, which is the Ace of Cups. And we have the Emperor. Okay, so this person is taking charge. In what aspect are they taking charge, Michael? They won't block you anymore. They won't block. They won't block the movement forward. Yep. If they had a breakthrough. Now they want to work. What is this? Is this money or? Okay, so this person had to focus on, again, they were manifesting money here. So it looks like they had problems with jobs or they were just too busy with, because Emperor could be a business owner. Um, this is someone that has a lot of responsibilities if they had children um, to take care of, if they have a business, if they have like so many projects to deal with. It looks like they were consumed in this for quite some time. That's why they could not invest with you. And I'm also getting investments took quite a bit or took a hit. What took a hit? So they had to juggle between their independence and the ones. 
so someone had to the established money they have already let's say a job or a business that was kind of unstable and they had to siphon the money from this business towards this other job i mean or job or a business that it's kind of brand new um and they kind of have to keep this new thing alive because it looks like they invested a lot in that what is the five of swords could be dealing with um, an organization I'm not getting this as marriage I mean it is an organization but with five five in between of this triple fives um, I'm getting this is a work thing if they have to deal with five people on one end and then another five on the other end they really had to stay okay so if your person has a job that kind of is like the um the median the person that kind of tries to not be the lawyer but you kind of like that being a mediator they could be that but it looks like there's a lot of fighting in fighting in this job thing that they're doing so literally their life was just packed with back-to-back -back issues and they could not balance you in it they had no time for you but the possibility of this whatever business job thing that they have the possibility of this is huge um so if you look at the first cards that we had we had eight eight um, rebirth for your career and seventh house so i think someone had to choose between love and career and this person had to choose the world career 10th house and that was not an easy task yep I'm seeing that moon fear but it's kind of and the thing is I don't think they told you about this that they chose a job over you because at the same time they want to keep hmm. okay all right we get it we'll see what's next and then I'm going to close it. Alright, plan of action, please. Okay, the moon. So angel Hanyol. King of Swords again. You're truly dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone that's very stoic. Um, someone with a very someone that has that I'm ready that could hide those broken pieces those those glass they're very good at that but there's so many broken pieces in them but they're good at looking like they're polished and ready to go this Five of Pentacles came out three times already with three different decks. Okay. What is the Six of Wands? Okay, looks like they're starting to stabilize their career or money. It's still... It's still a little bit not solid but i think it's 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 okay now for them that they could see the light in a way where 
this breakthrough that they had. I'm getting Dark Knight of the Soul. This person is ready to start um, slowly investing in love and I don't think your person could see being with anyone else but with you. I think with Five of Pentacles as well, they probably tried three times to go out or date other people. Um, we had 555 five, five earlier, the Hierophant, Five of Cups, no, Five of Swords and Five of Wands. And then we got three Five of Pentacles. I think they've tried and tried and tried and they could not. Um, it's you. You're that addiction. Hidden one too. That they probably dream all the time. Okay, this person's ready to commit. What is this Eight of Wands? Now, what really messes with their head now is if you don't accept them. What happens when you don't accept them? But that's up to you what you want to do with this Leo. You're basically here, the sun. You're that happiness. Yep. You're the only thing that can unlock this stability. Two of Cups right underneath. It's beautiful, but again, it's up to you. Everything is a choice. Let me just get one from here. And then... Let me get one more. You are safe and divinely protected. Vulnerability you can be completely open with this person. So again, the seven of wands they had earlier, everything is open now. Let me just get initials and then I'll get guidance. That'll be it. Okay, we have O. So these could be like cities, initials, or something on um, Joe. La Jolla. Q. F. I'm hearing siren. I don't know if someone's a cop. What is siren? Ambulance? Firefighter, military, okay, I and M. All right, so let me get your guidance and I'll end it. Okay, final message for Leo, please, Michael. Okay, we have Nine of Winter. Unfounded fear, focusing on worst case scenarios, allowing word to grow out of proportion to, to the problem. And we have eight of autumn, do more research before proceeding. Education in forms of seminars, going back to school, apprenticeships, excellent craftsmanship, and long-term projects. So again, this person probably had something to finish, maybe school or um, like a project. I'm getting like a brand new thing they had to do with Seven of Pentacles and they kind of had to funnel their other income towards that. And we have Ten of Autumn. Take steps to ensure the financial security of children or other loved ones making wise investments or planning for retirement. Honoring family traditions. So I'm getting this could be your person that had, again, because the emperor came out, so this is a lot of responsibilities. If they have elderly parents, they probably had to take care of that. And again, if they had children or they had to take care of, I don't know, younger sisters or like cousins or like aunt. I'm getting a lot of elderly people for some reason or just a lot of responsibilities. And we have King of Winner again, King of Swords, knowledgeable, experienced, fair-minded, unemotional. Get advice from someone, professional and objective, public speaking, unemotional relationships. So I think this person, 
um, Leo functioned with their life um, detached, unattached, because it was easier to overcome. It's easy to live their life not really thinking about love. And here you came in into this life like a wrecking ball and kind of um, messed up the structure that they had and they didn't know what to do. So maybe that was again the glass that was shattered and broken and they were kind of cleaning up on the floor and putting on the table. Um, I don't know if you want to get the glue and piece that vase together. It's up to you. Um, but this is what I have for you. Um, so wish you guys lots of love, happiness, and abundance. If you have not liked and subscribed, go ahead and do so. And have a great Sunday. Bye, Leo.